Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. This is the third part of the real Jarvis AI series. As in last video, we have learned how to create data and train our model and test it through some text commands. Now in this video, I'll show you how to take inputs from mic and spawn the result in voice too. But first of all, I want to show you the changes which I have made in our previous code. So as you can see clearly in this main, there is no such code which I have done in my uh, previous videos. Now we have used some classes, right? So like I have created this training model and you can see I have created this training or oh, sorry model package where I have created init.py and a file model underscore training.py file, right? So I'll just make you understand what I have done in this uh, new script. So I have created this package module and where I have in the init file, I have just put it all my initial things which I wanted to be initialized before training of our model. So I have downloaded the punket or wordnet uh, file and reading the JSON file. And after that, I am just putting all my data to all my variables which are required to train our model, right? So this is in the init.py. Why this is all in init.py? Because I want to initialize all the things just before uh, train our model, right? So after that, in this model underscore training, I have created all my required methods. And for this, uh, to use this training model class, I have put it all my uh, essential variables, which I required, right? And here I have created this object of word net lemmatizer. And this is the method train where I have put it all my training stuffs. After that, that get intent method, which was in our main script. So I have created this in the training model itself. And after that bag of word, clean text. And yes, after, uh, after, in, uh, sorry, in the last, we have get response, uh, get response method, right? I have made this as a static method because we don't have any, uh, you can say the instance variable or instance method we have used in this method, right? So that is why it is called as static and we don't have any self keyword here or argument, right? So here after creating all the required uh, classes and models, right? So I have just got the things which I required. So here I have initialized my training model class. After that, I have called the trained, uh, sorry, uh, the train method so that I would uh, this uh, train this model, right? And after that, I have just put it the same command, enter your command and just call the get intent from the training model object and after that by using the class name because this get response is a static method that is why i have used the class name and put it all the things which is required right so if i'll run this so let's see is it working as per our previous script or not so i'll show you that of course i have already tested it but i just wanted to show you uh let it be just trained and after that i'll just put the command Okay, so here I'll just put hello Jarvis. Yes, so intent name is greeting and hello sir always at your service. And then hi, yes, greeting, hello sir always at your service. And set alarm. So yes, intent is alarm and response is sure, right? So this is the thing. Okay, so now what we are going to do, as I have said, now we are going to uh, put the logic of getting voice input and then spawn same way too, right? So as you have seen my previous video for Friday and Jarvis also, so there I have used the same code to get the voice input and spawn in the uh, voice, right? So we are going to use the same method. So for that on, uh, okay, so let me just call it that browser yes here we have right so this is the jarvis project which i have created and this is also on bitbucket so if you have not watched this series jarvis or this project so uh, link will be in the description box you can go there and watch it right 
so this is the uh, jarvis class where i have used this read voice cmd right so this method will take the voice input by using the microphone right so here i have okay so let me just copy and paste in my code and after that uh i'll tell you what is happening here if you have not watched my previous series or you are new to this right so okay so where i should do i need to create some classes okay so not for now we will create that later so i just want to show you okay so we need to import a speech recognition module so let me just copy and paste it from here this is done okay yeah and uh, okay so now let me tell you what is happening here so what is happening here uh, first of all uh, this is the speech recognition dot microphone right so we have opened our microphone after that i have put it okay so we don't have any logger so here i'll just use print right then uh, what is happening here we have opened the uh, microphone here and then our microphone is listening to our voice inputs right so this is the source which i have uh, which i have uh, passed here right so through the microphone it will listen and the timeout time is 5 and phrase time limit is also 5 so this will work on the network or the internet right that is why we have here network errors right so this is the timeout so it will take 5 seconds to get the internet connection and the phrase limit is described here uh, if you have long uh, voice inputs then it will be breakdown in till the five second right and here i have used recognize google method of speech recognition right and uh, so we need to modify this code so uh, to how it will be done so first i need this speech uh object right so how i can have that that i need to use this recognizer right so let me just copy this code and uh, paste it here in the main right and the voice command here we will pass the speech i'll just remove this self dot so here I should use print this is it and now I'm just going to call this uh, in the while so in the command now instead of input I, I'll use this and here I'll just pass the speech and uh, yes let's see whether we are getting the speech or not so i'm just debugging it and i'll just uh, comment these trains right so here also i'll just comment all the things this is also because for now we just need to check whether our program is getting our voice input or not right and i'll just comment these lines also it's fine now let's see so debug it yes f7 okay so f8 f9 yes so just remove the debugger from here now let's go to read voice cmd so yes voice input now we have open our this mic and it will print listen listening and then when we uh, execute this line of code then we should have some inputs right so i'll just give my command hello jarvis okay so let's see whether we will get any command or not So yes we got hello jarvis right and we will get the voice input okay so here you can see we got hello jarvis okay fine so yes we are getting our command now 
okay so let me just close this now we need to have our logic so that according to our command our jarvis will respond in the same way so now i need to just remove these uh, comments yes this is it now instead of print here we will use some method so that this response will be output by voice right so for that also i have created some methods so for that if you go to uh where where should i go in the utils yes in the utils so in utils we have here this utils and in utils i have created this play sound right so just copy this and just put this also here and uh, yeah like this now i need to import os also import os okay so what is this darwin okay so our jarvis is compatible for mac and uh, windows also right so that is why i have used here the os name so if os name is darwin then it will uh, execute by this line of code which is use the say utility and say utility is for mac only so i'll just put the command also comment also this will execute execute for mac ios right else it will execute for windows where we have used a engine and the engine is the object of PYTTX module right so how we can have it so that is also here you can see yes so engine just copy and uh, paste it here right and I need to import PYTTSX3 right so okay so here i would like to tell you that first of all you need to install this speech recognition module after that you need to install pyttt sx3 modules and for this pyttt sx3 module you need to install py or not uh, py the pi audio module also but somewhere on windows we are getting lots of issues while installing pi audio module something like microsoft uh, uh, errors right so for that the simple way to install on uh, this uh, windows mac, on mac we are not getting any issues so uh, on windows what you need to do if you are not able to install the pi audi module so what you need to do first you need to install the other uh, utility or module pip install pip win right and after install or hitting this command what you need to do instead of pip you just need to type pip pin or execute pip pin module then install pi audio right so in this way you will able to install the pi audio module on your windows system right so for mac user we are not getting any comments or any issues on my videos right but yes from windows user i am getting lots of uh, comments that yes we are not able to install pi audio on our system or the windows pc right so by this way you can install the pi audio module okay so after this uh yes we have initialized and now we are going to call this play sound right so here play sound and response first we need to give and then the os name so how you can get the os name so i'll tell you that also so for that go into the jarvis and in the main uh where it is yeah here we have this operating system or i should have this only platform right and here now i need to import platform yes this is also done and and 
here i need to give the os name right okay now let's debug this and let's see whether we are getting a voice output or not oh yes Yes, it is just training our model. It will take some time. And uh, yes, it started. Hello, Jarvis. Okay. And yes, on the basis of our voice uh, command, we got the response, but it is not. Uh, speaking right now so let's debug this okay so now f8 okay so let's do one thing uh if i'll just okay so i just want to change this format so let me just stop it and i'll just create f string and here i'll put response so just remove this okay so i'll show you on command prompt also so here if i'll just make it bigger so here you can see i or say hello how are you hello how are you so here you can see uh, it is saying by using this uh, say utility right so just go back to our code and let's run it. It's training our model. You can just comment this part of code in uh, init.py, this file. Okay. Hello, Jarvis. Hello, sir. Always at your service. Good morning. Sure, sir. Why it is saying sure, sir? Input sure, sir. Sure. Okay. Hello, Jarvis. Hello, sir. Always at your service. How are you doing? Got it, sir. Okay, so what should I do first uh, to get what intent it is calling? So here I should have intent also. So print so that we will be clear which intent it is calling. Intent. Intents. Okay. Now let's run it again. So, yes. Hello, Jarvis. Hello, sir. How may I help you? Good morning. Sure, sir. Okay, for the good morning, it is calling music. That is why it is saying that. Sure, sir. Okay. Sure, sir. How are you doing? I got the things for which you are looking for. Wake up, Jarvis. Hello, sir. Always at your service. Set alarm. Sure, sir. Launch PyCharm. Sure, sir. So guys okay so let me just close you and i'll just explain you what happened here so when i said hello jarvis yes it is calling greeting it is fine when i said good morning it is just called music intent so that is wrong so we need to train our model as best fit right and uh, uh, how are you doing it that's called google search why it is so because we have uh, trained our model if we have how then it should be google search if i'll show you here so where it is uh, here search who is who are what is why so that is why 
we are having google search and yes wake up jarvis is also greeting when i said set alarm yes this is also correct when i said launch by charm this is also correct application is launching right now so that's it which i wanted to show you how you can make your real jarvis to get the inputs from your voice and output same way right so this is it for this video i hope you guys really like this series and uh, training uh, your, your model best fitted data right so see you in the next video in next video we will integrate uh, maybe some modules like launching the applications or launching the modules or music or setting the alarm so we are going to use all our previous code which i have showed you here in the jarvis so we have already created i'll just copy and paste in this uh, script but i'll definitely make you understand what is happening on which line right so see you in next video till then if you have not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon if you really enjoying this series please give thumbs up to this video and see you in my next video thank you for watching jai hind